Hey everyone, welcome back to another chainsaw carving tutorial with yours truly. As you can see, this is a log. I plan to carve it into a bear. So today I wanted to go in depth on uh, carving a bear with its mouth open. You're going to need a couple bits for this project or you can just use standard bits that come with the Dremel. It might take a very long time to do that. Quarter inch shank, green uh, ball burr. Uh, the other bit you'll need is a one eighth shank elongated burr for the Dremel. These, these bits are all green. I just like green. It makes it so it's not as aggressive. So I'm not actually going to show you guys how to carve the bear head at this point. You know how to do that. Um, so I'm just going to rough out a shape of a bear and then uh, for mine I kind of want my head tilted looking up to the left and I'm also going to turn this piece into a bench. I'm just going to rough out the head and then we'll move in on to carving up the face. Very important. We've got the top of the nose here. Drop it down a little bit. We've got the top of our lip. Right there, that's a beautiful lip. Goes down. He's got his lip there. Comes up. And there's a little bit of awesomeness. Alright, so our cut's going right in here. Alright. Take it slow. There's no reason to do this fast. Alright, so a few things you want to look out for when you're doing something like this is make sure a knot isn't right where the mouth is, like on mine. Hindsight is 2020, folks. Beautiful. So I'll time lapse the rest of my face up to actually touching the snow. The next portion is sanding the nose, get everything rounded, and then his lip. I'm gonna go in with my uh, round burr bit on the die grinder. I'm gonna go from one corner of the mouth, I'm gonna go all the way along to the other side of the corner of the mouth. turned sideways so you can get a little view of what I did there. I went uh, I went down to get that little pump on the front of the lip and then I went up and then I went back down. And we're gonna do the bottom of the mouth. Now seeing as the bottom of the mouth is smaller than the top of the mouth, we're gonna go in there with a saw, just narrow it down just a smidgen um, and kinda look at it face on and see that, that our top of our lip is overhanging the bottom of our lip and then we'll jump to doing the Dremel. But I'll, I'll thin it down and give you a quick look, see what that looks like. So at this point, like everything about this carving just screams it looks all anatomy, like wrong. <laughs> Which is a trick, because it's all right. So we're gonna grab our uh, our uh, ball our ball piece again, and we're gonna go in. How do we draw this? And then the lip is gonna come down over here. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the die grinder again and just open that up. Okay, so that knot really messed me up, so I used uh, the chainsaw there. That's that's definitely going to be one interesting problem area, which really sucks because that's going to take away from the whole carving. That's all right. So you're going to get in there with your saw or your Dremel, whatever you're comfortable with at this point. And you can see we've got our teeth lined up. 
But what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to get underneath the mouth. Uh, I suggest you use the die grinder with that uh, ball bit on there just to kind of define where the lip is and bring everything back up. Personally, I'm going to use the chainsaw and mark it out first. You can't see anything with that giant knot there, can you? Another thing I did is you can see my teeth are kind of jutting forward. But, uh, that happens. No, I don't, I don't understand it. I'm not a bear, but that's where their teeth go. So we got our, we're gonna have our lip come down here, and then we're just gonna come back in like that. All right, so we're gonna shave all this out. All right, so may I suggest going over the gums one more time with the ball bit before we do this next part. Uh, this is committal stuff, so there's no going back after this one. So we're gonna set our die grinder bit uh, about a half inch out from the actual socket, and we're gonna go in and use the base of the die grinder as kind of a, a stop from going too far in. We're just gonna go all the way around this son of a gun. All right, we're gonna start digging it out and kind of figuring out where teeth are. So I've really just kind of done a once around with the bit. Now what I'm gonna work on now is digging out the roof of the mouth. Um, don't dig down on the tongue because there is a tongue in there, but on the top portion, kind of go as deep as you can, right? Uh, at this point, because once we have the car uh, teeth carved out, getting in here and grinding off this material becomes a, almost a dangerous process because one slip can break a tooth completely off. So now that you've got like some decent room in there, and what you can even do with that ball bit is make a little uh, juts for the roof of the mouth, since that's probably where that's gonna be. We're gonna take our Dremel here with the elongated bit, and we're gonna go around, just really dig out the lips and the gums. It's gonna take a little while, I'm gonna grab a chair. I'm also pulling out my finger sander, because I like sanding with it. Enough said. All right, so when you're happy with your kind of lip gummy look things here, you're gonna take your old crayon and draw on some teeth. All right, so we're putting our big teeth up there, small teeth down below. These teeth are about a, a quarter inch bigger than all the other teeth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shave everything that is in these little triangles, all right? So just give yourself like a, a, like a half inch or three eighths round on the tooth for the sharp ones. Then everything else gets taken down that quarter inch. That was uh, for the fine tuning. So. I like to use the finger sander, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and uh, kind of point everything inwards. Um, actually, get back in here and uh, just kind of shave this down a little bit, make his his throat a little bit deeper. Doesn't need to be too deep, but yeah. Then we're gonna get everything down to a like a dull point. So we're sanding all this down. So your next part, you've got your gum line up here too. I don't know if you can see that all too well. I went in and just made like a little bump up uh, underneath the lips. There's a bump and then there's gonna be his teeth. So you can go on and draw on where all your teeth are gonna be. And then uh, what I suggest is going right to the base and then digging a little lip around each tooth. That kind of defines it sticking out of the gum. 
And uh, I usually only put like three or four teeth at the back. There's the canine, a little bit of a gap, three or four teeth. Bottom one canine, a little bit of a gap, three or four teeth. And uh, these teeth aren't like amazingly defined either. If you're uh, wanting to go all out and make it super defined, uh, you're gonna have to use like the, the pink bits that come with the Dremel and then really actually wait till the wood's dry also and all that. So my, my chunk of wood's soaking wet, so I'm just gonna make really vague teeth uh, and then just hit it with the flap sander to take all the fuzzies off. So that's going to be it for the mouth. Uh, uh, as far as the teeth go, the next portion you want to do is just carve out the tongue and that's just going to be making a defining line separating the teeth from the actual tongue. I'll get you close in here and we'll do that. Alright, so for the most part, the mouth is done, like the interior portion of the mouth. We're going to move on to the snout, making like little snarls up top, right? So those are, are, are literally little wrinkles, right, that come down and around. That give them that angry appearance. Alright, and, and while we're doing this, we're going to be rounding off the cheeks to make them kind of poofy, not just a straight... Right, a lot of carvers tend to do that. I think it's absolutely insanity because a bear snout does not look like that. Period. A bear snout actually has like these poofy cheeks on the front of them. Once you start toning that in, making the bridge of the nose more narrow, and then uh, actually joining that into where the cheekbone goes in, that, uh, that's a big push. So for this portion, I'm gonna use the finger sander. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to be going around the lips with my finger sander just to give it that little lip defining edge so she kind of looks poofy. We'll bring you into time lapse view. Alright guys, for the tutorial portion of this video, that is it. I'll give you a close up view, but I just want to show you guys really close what I did here. So, you can see at the top portion here, those snarls really make that bear look like he's like, ah, pulling his, uh, pulling his lips back to show his teeth, so it's semi-important to get that in there. I made mine a little derpy. He should be a little bit longer. That's all right though. I'm gonna finish this, rest of this bear up, and he's actually destined to become a bench, so I'll, I'll do a quick uh, rundown on how I'm gonna do that. All right, so you can see what we've done here. There's his teethies. It's pretty dark in there. Side view. I said those snarls, very important to get those in there. And we just kind of highlighted his lip just a little bit. I went all the way down there. Uh, I will dig this out a little bit more actually. It's done on the other side. Uh, you can't see that. I did do it on the other side. The lip is dug out. So I'm going to carve eyes on him. Do the rest of the furring. 
and then we'll just kind of mix them into the base down here and then there's going to be a, a little bit of a pooch coming out to sit on. All right. So it occurred to me as I was editing the video that the entire last portion of me carving up the sitting thing for this didn't get recorded. So it's pretty straightforward. I just uh, carved a little niche on the side here. I went up 16 inches and then I measured my material and then I went down from 16 inches and cut a little lip. On the left side, I actually cut a notch like this into the board and then I just trace it out onto the log and notch that in. I'll get you in for a close view. Not a whole lot going on there, just a notch. Like always guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, a list to all the tools that we're using in the video are uh, in the description along with links to them. Next week I think uh, we might have to hyper focus on something else, I don't know, maybe like eagle's feet or different ways to carve an eagle's feet, right? I think that was a comment, somebody wanted to see that done, so we might do that. Um, as far as anything else goes, if you have any questions or comments, there's an email, which I try to respond to as much as possible in the description below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, keep on carving.